Get off the sidelines and take control of your financial future at www.tackletrading.com. Get in the game. Matt Justice here for Tackle Trade to talk to you about compounding interest. Now, compounding interest is one of the most powerful, powerful things uh, in in. In, in trading, in investing, and if you don't if you don't believe me, think about Albert Einstein, one of the smartest men to ever live. And he says, compounding interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it earns it. He who doesn't pays it. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk to you about what compounding interest is and 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 why it's so important. And 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 the reality is this, a lot of people when they first start trading, uh, they don't see the forest through the trees. And what I mean by that is they get so fixated on what can you do for me right now? What can you do for me today that they don't realize where they're going to be in year two, three, four, five, six, ten, fifteen 10, 15 years down the road. Um, because investing, even if we're short term trading, position trading, swing trading, day trading, we, we have a tendency to always think about today, right now, this month. We don't have a tendency to think about 10 years from now because we just can't see it. And especially in today's society where you're really kind of focusing on basically, you know, everything is right now, right now, all of a sudden, you know, it's the speed of communication. It's just everything is so faster today that we don't take a long-term view of things, the long tail, uh, so to speak. And so what I want to show you here is what compounding interest really does. And so as what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at a few different stocks, and we're just going to look at the covered call uh, for right now. Now, to get the stocks that we're going to do this on, we're going to look at a couple stocks on the Tackle 25. The Tackle 25 is a covered call uh, list, is, is what it is. And we're in the process of finalizing the next edition of the Tackle 25. And this thing's just going to get better and better and better. We put a lot of work into it, a lot of research into it. And we're, we're, we have not got it finalized yet. We're still in the process of doing some of the research behind it. It should come out in the next week or two, maybe three weeks at the most uh, but but what again what it is is cover calls stocks that we like cover calls on so they have the liquid options on them they're in uh, different types of sectors different industry groups there's a couple of ETFs on the on the list there as well such as you know oil and silver and natural gas as well but we're just going to pull up a couple stocks from this list one of my favorite cover calls right now is Valero VLO. And as uh, Richard Doe from podcast number 104 talked about, uh, when when oil is bearish, not everything is bearish in the oil sector and basic materials. In fact, some of the refiners are, are, are actually do fairly well when oil is going down. And so companies like Valero are pretty good. Tesoro, same thing. So we're going to look at Valero. We're going to look at we're going to look at another one. We're, look, we're going to look at uh, JetBlue here as well. So we're going to look at JetBlue, which is a regional airline, and we're going to look at Valero, both stocks that I, I do have a tendency to, to like here. If you're looking at just kind of the trends here on Valero, let's go VLO here. As you can see, nice little bullish uptrend. Let's look at JetBlue, JBLU, another stock that is in a nice little uptrend, just broke out of resistance here. It's up 1.46% today already. And so I'm going to look at these two stocks from a cover call perspective. Now I'm going to go to my research uh, my research spreadsheet that uh, we created uh, based on our system, based on what we do. Uh, we had uh, Marius, who is an absolutely amazing at, uh, at spreadsheets. We are not, so thank you very much, Marius. But uh, we're going to look at Valero here first. So VLO, and then we're going to look at JetBlue. And we're going to decide which one we want to do based on these. Both of them are going to be uh, pre uh, pretty good, I would say. So w what we have to do in terms of the spreadsheet is we just have to fill the spreadsheet out. That's it. The, uh, everything else is just already based uh, in the marketplace. So Valero currently is trading at 69.66. So we type in the stock. We're going to trade it in September. Days till expiration. That's important to put in because it goes to one of the calculations. 32 days to expiration. We're going to sell the delta closest to uh, 40.
40 on the covered call, which is the 72 and a half strike price. So let's type in 72 and a half. Its delta is 35, and the credit we're going to receive on that is a dollar 45. So we're going to type a dollar 45. And as you can see, we get a 2.1 percent ROI, max ROI of 6.2 percent, uh, 5.6 uh, on the ROID, 5.9 on the credit ROID. That's that's a really good covered call type uh, scenario. The next one we're going to look at here is is on JetBlue. So let me get the information for JetBlue here. I'm looking at my other screen. Uh, internet is a little a little slow right now, so just bear with me. JetBlue. Okay, uh, the price of JetBlue right now is 24.33. We're going to look in September. We're going to look at 32 days till expiration. We're going to sell the delta closest to 0 0.40, which is 20, the 25 call options sold. Its delta is 0.42, and the credit received on that one is 75 cents. Now, as you can see, we're getting a 3.1% on that one. Credit ROID is 7.3%, 6.9 on the standard credit ROID, maximum ROID 14%. Both of these are really good cover call type uh, scenarios here. So the first one let's look at is Valero. If we were to buy Valero, we want to buy at least 100 shares of Valero. So we're going to put around $7,000 into this into this uh, covered call. And that's in an IRA. Uh, if it's an individual account, you'd only have to put up half. You do basically double the return in that and everything else. But we just want to look at an IRA, selling covered calls, compounding the interest, and so on and so forth. So on Valero, we're going to get $145 on the call option sold. On JetBlue, we're going to get $75. Now, we're going to go to my compounding interest spreadsheet here. And we're just going to start with 100 shares of Valero. 100 shares of, of Valero. The stock price is currently 69.66, and the premium we get is 145 dollars on the call option sold here. Now, what we're also going to do is we're also going to buy three shares of Valero every single month with our own money. So we're going to compound the gains in terms of uh, in terms of the compounding the gains. We're going to take the the money that we create from the covered call, the selling of the call option, into rebuying shares. We're then also going to buy three shares per month with our own money. So here, looking at it, in year one, we're only making $145 per 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 month. That is certainly not life changing. And it's like, oh my goodness, we're only making $145. That's nothing. I want something right now. I want to go make a million dollars right now. Well, let's think long term, ladies and gentlemen. And as you can see, we're going to buy three shares. We're going to buy compound the gains as well. And so as you can see, all the way into year two, we're still only doing one contract, but we're starting to get more money in terms of the 195. Our investment in, invested, now we're into $10,000 instead of the 7000 because we're reallocating the gains uh, as well as buying three shares uh, three shares per month. And then in year two, in the first uh, last quarter, third the third quarter of year two, we finally get 200 shares and we start getting 290 bucks. And then finally in year three, we get 300 shares and we're at 435 bucks positive cash flow. Coming all the way down to year five, okay, we're investing in Valero for five years, uh, we're reallocating, we're compounding the interest, and we're finally starting to see some return of $725 a month. And everybody's still like, well, that's not life changing, but this is where it gets special. As you can see, coming all the way into year 10, we now own 2,000 shares. We're compounding it with 3,000 extra a month. We have total gains of $120,000, monthly premium over 3,000, and we've only invested 31,000 total of our money. By year 15 in doing this, look at this. We own 7,000 shares. We're, uh, we're getting $11,000 on the positive cash flow and a total gain of $500,000 in year 15. And then coming all the way down to year 20, Money. You're finally cash flowing $39,000 a month with $1.8 million in total gains. That's where compounding interest really really pays out. And like Albert Einstein said, compounding interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it earns it. He who doesn't pays for it. Now let's look at a different one. Say we can't start with $7,000 and we just want to start with JetBlue. 
Okay, we just start with JetBlue, and JetBlue, we, we we're basically investing $24.33, so it's going to cost $2,400. Now, we're certainly not going to get $145 on that. It's less price here. So now let's go, and we're going to get $75 per contract sold. So once again, looking at this, coming all the way to the top here, in year one, we're only getting $75. Oh, my goodness, that is absolutely nothing. I should never do a covered call because I'm not getting rich in year one think long term ladies and gentlemen year five or up to 800 shares owned we have fourteen thousand dollars in gains we have six hundred dollars in positive cash flow year 10 just starting out with two thousand dollars in year 10 we're now cash flowing four thousand dollars with hundred and twenty six thousand dollars in gains and there all the way down to year 20 we finally have 210,000 shares with $158,000 in gains on the premium and $5.2 million. Ladies and gentlemen, that is why you have to think long term. That is why Einstein said what he did. And that's why we're so passionate about investing, ladies and gentlemen. That's why we're so passionate about doing this the right way. Because even with a stock that is just 100 shares on a stock price of $24, 20, 25, 30 years from now, man, look where, where you're at. Look where you're at. And it's absolutely amazing. Now, let's let's say you're... You know, you're you're 45 years old and you have some money and you say, well, I don't want to best 2,000. I'm gonna put 24,000 dollars into that, and you're gonna and we're gonna sell 10 contracts. So now it says 750, 75 dollars. We're gonna compound on 750 dollars in positive gains. And look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Man, look how that starts to increase even much, much, much more dramatically. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why we invest. This is why we trade. This is why you have to start doing it. And this is why you are at the absolute best spot with tackle trading. Because not only are we going to teach you how to sh a short-term trade, we're going to teach you how to take control of your entire financial future long-term as well. This is Matt Justice talking to you about compounding interest for tackle trading. Check us out over there at tackletrading.com. If you want to change your life, you want to get financial free get in the game one trade at a time over there at tackle trading get off the sidelines and take control of your financial future at www.tackletrading.com get in the game